wo, I lay kai wo. Ashe, ashe, your turn. Kai wo, I lay kai wo. Ashe, ashe. So, what that is in the Yoruba language is just a welcome. It is the opening to a dance called Funga. That dance, Funga, was brought to America from Liberia by Madame Pearl Primus, a great dancer, modern dancer that had African energy that influenced all that she did. She brought to us past and present and future. She was a collector of energy and art. She was a collector of people and and information, but she did it through the arts. Who else does that here? Woo! Yeah. The Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance welcome you right here. This is the evening of the first, the inaugural Innovator Award. girls on North Avenue uh, that taught everybody in the whole city, either in elementary school or at Morgan or Coppin. Some know me at Ma as Mama Kay's aunt. Some know me as a poet that created a uh, cultural arts group called New Breezes. Some know me as a healthcare executive. And then in later years, more recent years, some of you know me as an abstract expressionist artist. <laughs> Kevin Brown has known me in all of those situations. We have shared a golden friendship for over 30 or 40 years. 40, 40 years. 40. Yesterday. And that and heartwarming enough and heartfelt felt enough until about 10 years ago. When Kevin Brown and my dear friend Lydia Woods changed my life. At the age of 62, I picked up a paintbrush that Lydia Woods gave me. She gave me easel, paints, and canvases, and off I went painting. I painted delightedfully in my little house. I would finish them, sign them, and put them in the closet. <laughs> and there they were to stay as long as I knew. Then Lydia and Kevin had a conversation in Nancy, and they decided that I could should exhibit my work. Well, I was mortified. <laughs> These were personal messages, my legacy, my emotions, how could I possibly show them to somebody else? More importantly, even now I struggle with imposter syndrome. There are people who have painted all their lives, master's degrees and everything. And who was I to call myself the A word? But anyway, they convinced me that I should do this. Kevin Brown and beloved Bill gave me my inaugural exhibit on the walls of Nancy. And people came, and they liked my work, and they purchased my work. 400 paintings later, dozens of, dozens of exhibits, fabulous group of collectors of which this man. If that wasn't enough, he started buying my family. And so, Kevin, Kevin, I knew it would be a mob scene. I wanted to stand here in front of these people and tell them what I tell you every time I see you. 
that I love you, yes. that I appreciate everything you do for the arts, for this beloved city that we love more than anything, and for me, 75 years old, and a new, new career as an abstract expressionist artist, thanks to your amazing kindness. Congratulations on this well-deserved award. Kevin Brown honors James Baldwin each and every year. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. So that got the attention, unbeknownst to Kevin, of the Baldwin family. The Baldwin family would like to acknowledge Kevin Brown for his tireless work and dedication in the promotion of the legacy of James Baldwin through his founding of the James Baldwin Society. All right. Many years before the star James Baldwin reemerged among the American literacy landscape, Kevin organized events, trips to Paris, galas, and educational endeavor, endeavors examining the life of Baldwin and helping others who had an interest in the late author's life and work discover and study more about him. Baldwin's niece, Aisha, has attended and spoken at a variety of society events. Namely, a gala arranged by Kevin in honor of her uncle, and also spoke to a group of society members who traveled to New York to visit the author's place of birth and former home in the village of Harlem. The Baldwin family states, with his unique style and joie de vivre, Kevin has demonstrated an immense love, dedication, and respect for the life and legacy of James Baldwin through his work with the James Baldwin Society. Before the symposiums, celebrations of life, movies, etc., Kevin was a pioneer of sorts. Yes, he was. Leading, teaching, and showing others before the world began to honor the late writer's contribution to the American literary canon. And for that, we are truly Grateful. Oh. Love you, Kevin Brown. The director of Greater Hi. Baltimore Cultural Alliance, Jeannie Howe, please come and take the stage. Thank you all for being here tonight. Before I get started, I just want to do a couple of little things. I want to say a really deep thank you to the amazing staff of the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance, and I hope you get a chance to meet them and talk to them tonight. Of course, the amazing Kabidia Jangu. <laughs> we just wouldn't even be here if Tracy Jiggetts hadn't entered our lives yeah. as a fellow yeah. with your Kevin Brown made significant contributions to both the communications field and the arts community in Baltimore. We see you, Kevin. We yes. see you. Yes. Love you. He's the owner and head chef of Nancy by Snack. He's a visionary and he's an innovator. He's created an amazing and vital space, amazing is my favorite word, but a really, really important space for in the Station North Arts community where people and communities can gather, where artists are welcome, where politicians come, <laughs> where just about everybody in every different strata or a or piece of the you know, continuum of life come and feel comfortable and welcome, and that's be because he's been very intentional about building that community. He's elevated artists, as we've heard from Alma, and he cultivates joy. Yes. 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 Kevin has welcomed customers from all walks of life, if I said. He's curated a public art and dining experience 
where art objects and food all work together and, and engage the senses and encourage guests to guest interactions. And if you don't know somebody, Kevin's going to make sure you know what's going on. And that, you know, he wants you to know the landscape of what's happening there. It's become the place to be seen, to see and be seen. Right? I mean, if you're going to get to know the creative community in Baltimore. And beyond this culinary success and profound impact on artists, your journey from marketing and planning division at Baltimore Gas and Electric right. to pivotal roles of the city of Baltimore right. demonstrates your range and your versatility yeah. and your genius. His voice has been a staple in Baltimore's uh, cultural narrative with editorial contributions to the Baltimore Sun, the Baltimore Afro-American Afro newspaper, and other local publications. Additionally, he's the founder of the National James Baldwin Baldwin mm -hmm. Library Society, which we've just really understood how important that is. And I came to know Kevin as, oh, this will shock you, <laughs> as an outspoken <laughs> advocate who communicates with clarity and vision. Kevin was there at the birth of Station North Arts and Entertainment District, and he had a thing or two to say about it. We're better for that. And as I was later to appreciate more fully, he was a co-conspirator with Nancy Harrigan, who was the beloved founder of the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance. Yeah. Before Michael redeveloped the Graduate Center across the street, where Nancy is now located, GBCA, Maryland Citizens for the Arts, Arts Every Day, that's where their offices were. In a tiny little space, Nancy Harrigan was like a beautiful little hive of the arts before my time. And so it's so exciting that, I mean, I just, I, you know, want you all to understand why that's a big part of why Kevin's there. Yes, it's Micah. Yes, it's Station North, but it also was Nancy. Yes. And it was Gwen Davidson who sends her regards and was so sorry she couldn't be here. Um, and Micah who said, y'all have to be here. You don't have to be here. And so help to um, promote the commitment to the cultural sector, to Nancy's love for bright red nail polish. So if you notice Nancy's signature is in bright red nail polish. Continuing to carry out that love and that mission, and, and just that there was this real, I just you told me the story about how Nancy kidnapped you and drove you around the block for blocks right. and blocks. Right, so yeah. I got the yeah. vote on the board. Right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right, and then, right, and, but you did it, and you made a, a really big difference, and I, and someday we're going to do this, everybody, everybody's favorite Nancy party. And, you know, okay, more about that later. But on behalf of our board, and on behalf of the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance, I have the honor to present our first, first ever Cultural Innovative Award, Innovator Award, and it goes to Kevin Brown. the exceptional contributions of individuals who go above and beyond in creating and supporting art in the Baltimore community. This award aims to celebrate trailblazers who have been instrumental in driving cultural innovation in the region and to honor their commitment to aspiring artists, curators, educators, and enthusiasts alike. It also seeks to shed a light on the efforts of individuals whose work tireless behind the scenes often goes without recognition or fanfare. Kevin's dedication to the arts community and community development reflects the spirit of the Cultural Innovators Award, honoring his lifetime to date of enriching Baltimore's cultural fabric. Please put your hands together again and join me in applauding and thanking Kevin. <laughs> make more noise like this crowd than here. Yeah.
I really, uh, my brother David gave me, David, where are you? Where are you? Let's hear it for my brother David. David! 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 On the way in today, he gave me uh, five index cards. He said, just write your thoughts down, what you want to say when you get there. And I said, yeah, I need to because I don't know what to expect. I know I'm going to be overwhelmed and, and overwhelmed. I have to find another word because this is more than overwhelmed. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> the love in this room, the energy, the vibe, the juice, the mojo, the swagger, the pop, it's here. And it's across the street in Nancy because you guys brought it there. All right. Yeah. 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 It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Take your time. Take it. What happens in that space? Every day happens because of you. And what you bring, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. We love you. I couldn't even wrap my head around Cultural Innovator Award. I, I just, <laughs> and for a number of reasons, that's probably why my brother gave me the five index cards. <laughs> There's a saying in the black community, you've been called everything but a child of God. I've been called everything but a child of God. There was a reporter at, uh, I think, the Baltimore Sun named Ed Guns. He called me once. And you always remember what people say about you, don't you? Never been mm -hmm. A thorn in the side of city government. All right. Yeah. No, I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. I was called uh, the mayor of Station North. Yeah. Yeah. Baltimore yeah. Magazine called me the Pope of Station North. Maynard <laughs> Woods from the city paper. He's the weirdo standing next to the mayor in the leather vest. <laughs> I've been called a pioneer. I've been called the shit stirrer. I've been called the troublemaker. And long before John said he was a good trouble, they meant just making trouble. But to be called the culture innovator is just really just, it's, it's beyond, it's beyond the pale. It's, it's something I, I never imagined. And I'm just so, so I keep going back to the word grateful. I'm so grateful. What I want to share with you though, is that these last uh, 31 years I've been in Station North. We first came here in 1993. We loved the neighborhood. And we had failures. I always tell people, you know, you got a great restaurant, you have a great this. We had 10 or 12 failures before we did what people think is an overnight success. And I just wish that my confidence would be And I have to stay in this space and say, there's no culture innovator because that was the backbone. That was the one. I could not be up front smiling and talking and being light about the person in the back. So I'm just want to stand in that space for a moment and say, I wish he was here to see this because he worked so hard. He worked so hard. And he loved all of you. He really, 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 really did. So I also want to say that um, Khabibi and I go back four years. Uh, Oh, man. <laughs> four? And, you said four? Yeah, four. <laughs> and I'm glad that she's at this great organization at this time. I'm glad that they've got great leadership like Jeannie Howe at this organization at this time. I'm so glad Tracy Jenkins is here at this organization at this time. Last night I had the pleasure to be with Andre and Shields. I had the pleasure to be with Bishmi Corante and I had the pleasure to be with the new head of Center Stage. They all talked about Baltimore's New beginnings. This is where things are happening. Things are happening here in Baltimore because of you guys. Everybody in this room that's making art, that's, that's being art, that's walking, talking, living, breathing art. I'm so appreciative of this that we're again. I'm so grateful. Alma, oh my God, what can I say? Uh, your paintings have amazed me. Uh, artists who have come through our gallery have given um, our walls their grace. I say that's a gift that you give to us. Grateful, I promise I won't run on. I just wanted to say, it's been a long ride. Yeah, it it's been a good ride. Yeah. I had good friends, my family has been behind me from the start. No one hardly ever says no. I try to keep my heart open for yes. I think about those who surround me in times of tragedy or just in times of when I'm, I'm feeling peril. People like, Catalina, Marsha, Caprice, 
dolling around the way. <laughs> the oldest friend I have in the room is right here. I don't know if I'm talking about. I was five years old. And so, relationships, uh, you know, or maybe special, the best stuff, it wakes me up every Saturday. Oh my God, Barbara, who runs the jazz. And I could, go to, I could I'd be on like, no naming names, but those people will keep me just braced when things go wrong. And um, I'm just grateful to be here tonight. I hope you guys have a good time tonight. And uh, just thank you so much. Thank you. But on behalf of our board, and on behalf of the Greater Baltimore Cultural Alliance, I have the honor to present our first, first ever Cultural Innovative Award, Innovator Award, and it goes to Kevin Brown. contributions of individuals who go above and beyond in creating and supporting art in the Baltimore community. This award aims to celebrate trailblazers who have been instrumental in driving cultural innovation in the region and to honor their commitment to aspiring artists, curators, educators, and enthousi enthusiasts alike. It also seeks to shed a light on the efforts of individuals whose work tireless behind the scenes often goes without recognition or fanfare. Kevin's dedication to the arts community and community development reflects the spirit of the Cultural Innovators Award, honoring his lifetime to date of enriching Baltimore's cultural fabric. Please put your hands together again and join me in applauding and thanking Kevin. Yeah. Noise like it's crowded in here. We love you, Kevin. I'm really uh, my brother David gave me. David, where you? Where are you? So we can. Let's hear it for my brother David. Yay! write your thoughts down, what you want to say when you get there. And I said, yeah, I need to because I don't know what to expect. I know I'm going to be overwhelmed and, and overwhelmed. I have to find another word because this is more than overwhelmed. I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> the love in this room, the energy, the vibe, the juice, the lojo, the swagger, the pop, it's here. And it's across the street and Nancy because you guys brought it there. All right. Okay. What happens in that space every day happens because of you. And what you bring. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. We love you. I couldn't even wrap my head around cultural innovator award. <laughs> I'm just and for a number of reasons, that's probably why my brother gave me the five index cards. <laughs> There's a saying in the black community, you've been called everything but a <laughs> child of God. I've been called everything but a child of God. There was a reporter at, uh, I think, the Baltimore Sun named Ed Guns. He called me once. And you always remember what people say about you, don't you? Never been that. A thorn in the side of city government. All right. <laughs> I kind of like that. I was called uh, the mayor of Station North. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, while the magazine called me the Pope of Station North. <laughs> Maynard Woods from the city paper. He's the weirdo standing next to the mayor in the leather vest. <laughs> I've been called a pioneer. I've been called the shitster. I've been called the troublemaker. 
And long before John said it was a good trouble, they meant just making trouble. Yes. But to be called a culture innovator is just really just, it's, it's beyond, it's beyond the pale. It's, it's something I, I never imagined. And I'm just so, so I keep going back to the word grateful. I'm so grateful. What I want to share with you, though, is that these last um, 31 years I've been in Station North, we first came here in 1993. We loved the neighborhood. And we had failures. I always tell people, you know, you got a great restaurant, you have a great this. We had 10 or 12 failures before we did what people think is an overnight success. And I just wish that my partner was here tonight to see this. That was the backbone. That was the one. I could not be up front smiling and talking and being light without the person in the back. So I'm just want to stand in that space for a moment and say, I wish he was here to see this because he worked so hard. He worked so hard and he loved all of you. Yeah. Really, 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 really did. So I also want to say that um, Khabibi and I go back four years. Um, Oh, <laughs> four, and, you said four? Yeah, four. <laughs> and I'm glad that she's at this great organization at this time. I'm glad that they've got great leadership like Judy Howe at this organization at this time. I'm so glad Tracy Jenkins is here at this organization at this time. Last night I had the pleasure to be with Andre De Shields. I had the pleasure to be with Bishop Kormante and I had the pleasure to be with the new head of Center Stage. They all talked about Baltimore's New beginnings. This is where things are happening. And things are happening here in Baltimore because of you guys. Everybody in this room that's making art, that's that's being art, that's walking, talking, living, breathing art. I'm so appreciative that we're really again. I'm so grateful. Alma, oh my God, what can I say? Um, your paintings have amazed me. Um, artists who have come through our gallery who have given um, our walls their grace. I say that's a gift that you give to us. Grateful, I promise I won't run on. I just wanted to say, it's been a long ride. It's been a good ride. I had good friends, my family's been behind me from the start. No one hardly ever says no. I try to keep my heart open for yes. I think about those who surround me in times of tragedy or just in times of when I'm, I'm feeling peril. People like, Catalina, Marsha, Caprice, Darling, around the way. <laughs> the oldest friend I have in the room is right here. I don't know if she's not in She's known since I was five years old. And so, relationships, you know, or making special, the best stuff, it wakes me up every day. Oh my God, Barbara, who runs the jazz. And I could, I could, I could I'd be all night, no naming names, but those people will keep me just braced when things go wrong. And um, I'm just grateful to be here tonight. I hope you guys have a good time tonight. And uh, just thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.